Read in the Old Testament. I mean, they call Daniel up. There's a riddle, there's a dream. Nobody has the answer. Look at the confidence that Daniel had. Daniel got in there. He said, okay. He said, hey, hold on. He said, give me some time. Let me go and consult with my search engine. I'm coming back with the answer. Daniel gets back to God, kneels down. Then Daniel begins to say, he said, Lord, there is nothing hidden from you. You know all things. He said, deliver to me the answer. Deliver it. When Daniel was done, he came back the next day. You need to understand, he was not coming back to a businessman. He was not coming back to a... This is a king. A king that if he thinks you are lying to him, can kill you. Daniel comes back and says, hear ye the word of the Lord. He says, insight, knowledge, and all wisdom belong to God. He says, he reveals this thing to his own children. Then Daniel begins to tell him, he says, oh king, in your nighttime, this is what you dreamt about. And this is the interpretation of what you dreamt about. This is what's going to happen to you. Daniel was so accurate. How come? How come? Today, today, I mean, some of you, you ask, you ask you a question. You just say, this is this, this is that, this is that. Say, how do you know? Say, internet. The information you have on the internet, a lot of them just wrong. Wrong, but you carry it and you're quoting it. Where did you see it? CNN. Where did you see it? BBC. As if they are God. Yet the information can be so wrong. Can be so wrong. Why don't you trust more the, the search engine you have in your spirit? Okay, look at verse 11. For what man knoweth the things of a man? Save the spirit of man which is in him. Oh, now look at this, this one thing. First of all, it says you as a man, your spirit has the ability to know things. Look at it, look at this. For no man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man. Then he says, in the same vein, even so the things of God knoweth no man. Now, this is consistent what you read in Isaiah. Huh? Isaiah says, my ways are higher, my thoughts are higher as the heaven is from the earth. He says, no man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man that's in him. You know, save the spirit of a man that's in him. So the man knows his thoughts. No man can, can see that. He's just there by himself. Then he says, so also, no man knoweth the things of God, but the spirit of God. No man knoweth the things of God, but the spirit of God. But when a man has the Holy Spirit of God that knows the things of God, now living in him, who understands that? Huh? When, the, when now this Holy Spirit that knows all the things of God, that searches the deep things of God, that has access to every wisdom of God, this Holy Spirit now is wrapped up as a software installed into you now. You that have the Holy Spirit cannot now be saying, I don't know the mind of God. Ah! Who, who understands that? If there is something that is difficult, if there is something that you need to solve, and it looks like you don't have it yet, you don't know it yet, you say, give me some time. You say, what? Give me some time. He said, I will come back to you with the answer. Don't pray like Daniel. Daniel went and had to look up to heaven. You, you are not looking up to heaven. Heaven, the God that knows all things is not living in heaven. The God that knows all things is living inside you now. <laughs>